Hello, I'm Carrie Jagger, Agriculture and Natural Resources Extension Educator for OSU Extension in Morrow County, Ohio. Today we're going to talk about selecting seeds. When purchasing and choosing seeds, there are a lot of companies on the market. When you start to pick out your seeds, you want to make sure that you're using a reputable source. By using a reputable source, this will ensure that you have healthy plants. One question that might be asked when choosing seeds is do I want hybrid, heirloom, or open pollinated seeds? How are hybrid and open pollinated vegetables different? We'll cover that in a second. What is a hybrid anyway? Hybridization is the pollination of one genetically uniform variety with pollen from another specific genetically uniform variety. The seed company chooses parent varieties that will produce first generation offspring, which are called F1 hybrids, with special characteristics they desire. This is done in a very controlled manner so that all plants grown from the hybrid seed will be the result of the desired cross and they will be genetically identical. They are bred to withstand environmental stresses such as heat, cold, disease, and drought. There are many positive attributes to using hybrids. Some are that they're more uniform, which makes the crops more predictable. They produce earlier. Some can produce higher yields. Some have higher germination rates. Some are more cold tolerant. A downfall is that they do not breed true. What does this mean? It means that they do not produce seeds that will grow into plants exactly like themselves because in the next generation, the genes have segregated into many new combinations. Saving hybrid seed is not a reliable seed source. Now on to standard open pollinated and heirloom varieties. A lot of folks choose these because they feel that they're more tasty, although they're not very disease resistant or disease tolerant. They self-pollinate or are pollinated by the winds or insects. They're more or less stabilized in their characteristics. They remain fairly consistent. They produce reliable seed and can be reused to get the same plant. They could be different th than their parents due to a cross-pollination. What does disease resistant or disease tolerant mean? Well, it means that the plant can withstand or hold up to some types of diseases some they're resistant to, and some they're just tolerant to. When choosing seeds in a catalog or online, you will see codes next to that seed. In this chart, it says ASC is Alternaria Stem Canker Resistant. In this chart, AS is Alternaria Stem Canker Resistant. So you want to make sure that when you're looking at your catalogs, you look at the codes because we just noticed that one catalog was coded a little bit different than the next catalog, but they were both meant alternaria stem canker resistant. So it's good to know your codes. In this chart, it shows cucumber resistant codes. Powdery and downy mildew seem to be pretty big problems in cucumbers in our area of Ohio. So you would wanna look for seed that had DM or PM next to them. And that would assure you that they were downy mildew and powdery mildew resistant. Next, we'll talk about variety. There are thousands and thousands of different varieties of vegetables and fruits that you can choose from. Take your time and read the description so that you're ensuring you get what you want. Seeds come in many different shapes and sizes. They even come coated, like the pink lettuce seed we see in this picture. Seeds require different depths to be planted at and different times and different soil temperatures to germinate. So make sure you follow those directions after you purchase your seeds. When choosing seed, size is something that might want to be taken into consideration. Some plants are very huge, some need to be trellised, and some can be grown in containers. These are all things that you might want to think about when planting your garden and purchasing seeds. Thank you for watching my video, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jagger.6 at osu.edu.